pretty as a picture. And how about the frame? Whoa, taxi. Yes. Dear, oh dear, I could go to jail for what I'm thinking, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's very, no, she's lucky to be here tonight because Miss World, she hurt her ankle this morning. She phoned the doctor, she said, I've hurt my ankle. He said, as soon as I get my stethoscope, I'll be right over to see. <laughs> yes, here, I'll tell you, no. One very good thing, Miss World, it's a good job Charlie Drake wasn't pinning the sash on you. They never got round your shoulders, I tell you. <laughs> yes. Uh-oh, it's Charlie Drake, the worker. That, uh, that was from my mother. <laughs> she said, if you're going to the London Palladium <laughs> and you meet that nice young fella, what's the new foreman there, give him a big kiss. <laughs> that one's from me. <laughs> it's great to see you, Charlie, it really is. And personally, I'd like to say on behalf of everybody, we did enjoy the series very much. I thought the worker was just great. Thank you, James. And now you're here, can I ask you a question? Yes, yes. Have you got a job yet? Yes. I'm pleased to say that I am working at the moment. Good. Where? Here. <laughs> With you, darling. <laughs> Bring on the props, please. to see you in Civilian Street, Mr. Pooh. Pew! Pardon? Pew. Pew! <laughs> and this is a very good friend of mine, James Tarbrush. Tarbuck. Pardon? Tarbuck. Oh! <laughs> the lip and you'll be in it like that thing. <laughs> What's the number of your dressing room? Two. <laughs> Go back there and have a good think about Malcolm Mother. <laughs> Did you see it? Hmm? Did you see it? Did I see what? Do you have a night? The fella. Hmm? The fella what said it. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth Bunyan. <laughs> Kenneth Tynan. Not Bunyan. Tynan. Mm -hmm. Kenneth Tynan is not only a film critic on a national Sunday newspaper, but he is also the literary manager of our national theatre. Mm -hmm. oh, golly, he's done well since last Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Shows you what a little forethought and a live show can do for you. Oh, so you saw it? Yes, yes. My mother let me stay up late, especially to watch. <laughs> We're sitting there, and a fella in the middle, Robertson Hare. <laughs> Robert Robinson? Not Hare. A Robinson. Robinson. That chap is one of the best feeds in show business. Yes, that's right. Kenneth Tyne and Straight Man. Oh. <laughs> he said. He said, you reckon that social intercourse <laughs> ought to be allowed in a live freighter? <laughs> Kenneth Tyner said, yeah, he said. Yeah. <laughs> right in the middle of the time. <laughs> Always providing it is germane to the flock. <laughs> Rumour has it that he's already written the play. 
For the look of him the other night, he'd been rehearsing it a year. <laughs> on the subject, he said, what's wrong with the word? <laughs> <laughs> My mother said, did he just say? <laughs> it sounded like it, Mum, I <laughs> You're on a tough alone, she said. <laughs> I phoned up, phoned up, spoke to the receptionist, who are you, she said. And I'm Charles Drake, casual ruler of Weybridge, I said. Um, what do you want, she said. <laughs> Very bitter she was. Bitter. Talked as though she was sitting on a Mongolian stalagmite. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, she said. I said, did Kenneth Tynan just say... <laughs> yes, she said, and more power to his elbow. <laughs> Then asked me if I was complaining or proposing. That's what I was doing. <laughs> My mother said, I can't wait to hear what Milton Schmaltzman's got to say about this. Milton Schumann. Schnuckman? Schumann. Yes, Milton Schumann is a much respected and well loved theatre critic who was discovered by the late Lord Beaverbrook. No one quite knows where he discovered him, but nevertheless... Do you mean to say that he condoned such a perpetration? Pardon? Uh, do you mean to say that he condoned such a perpetration? Yes! <laughs> All over the place! <laughs> he said, if George Bernard Shaw could say then Kenneth Tyner should be allowed to say... <laughs> and it won't be so very long before we can all say... <laughs> all together! <laughs> What's up? Whatever it's up. <laughs> telegram! Telegram! Oh, why, James, God, James, you're just in time, James. <laughs> came, ex came express delivery for you, Charlie. Really? Yes. Oh, I got really excited to get a telegram. Who knows? It may be an offer to play in a strip tease club. <laughs> Not so much money, but contentment. <laughs> It's from them, it's from them. Milton Bunyan and Kevin Scruton. Kenneth Tynan and Milton Schulman. That's it, the jewel and Warris of Fleet Street. My <laughs> 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 golly, it's a good job the telescopic lens ain't been invented yet. What does it say, Charlie? What does it say? I cannot repeat it, James. But under the circumspexes, <laughs> I think we ought to do it. Which is the way out? 